Welcome back to Marriage Beyond the Veil, where we are on day six out of ten mm -hmm. of the ten most important qualities for, for a successful for a successful marriage. marriage, according to Gil. According right. to Gil, right? Okay. Which you know, hey, it's just our we've been married thirty five years, but okay, uh, uh, uh. almost thirty five. Yes. Okay. So tonight, I wanted to talk about connection connection mm -hmm. okay and the totality of what connection means so okay. when people... i'm interested in hearing this <laughs> <laughs> um so not just a physical connection okay um because although i think that's important absolutely um, i think a lot of times that is the first thing that people are connected to is the way someone looks okay all right but even more important in terms of connection is in my opinion is spiritual connection okay um as well as an emotional connection okay so what if one does not have any kind of faith then what does one do you know if they're they're not cognizant of a spiritual need mm -hmm. you know I feel bad for it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the truth. I mean, and I realize that some people, when I say spiritual connection, you know, for us, we're Christians. That is our spiritual connection. My, my connection, I believe that God sent or sort of ordained our relationship to happen. The, the, and this is the thing that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I raise that question because, you mm -hmm. know, there are, there are people that get married that, that, practice no kind of faith, right. maybe atheists and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. This is the thing, though. <clears throat> um, whether people understand this, accept it or not, it's the reality. When you talk about two persons coming together in a sexual manner, you know, many times people think it's a physical thing, mm -hmm. which that's a component of it. Mm -hmm. And people will think, okay, it's also an emotional thing, which that's a component of it. But it's definitely at a minimum three dimensions because it is, it can be very emotional. Mm -hmm. It's definitely physical, mm -hmm. but it's also spiritual. And that's why there is a connection that people make. There are bonds or ties. And it may not be both persons at the same time, or it may not be both persons, but it will definitely be one of the two. Okay. I done Garen told you <laughs> when you lay down sexually with someone, whether you realize it or not, you are having that spiritual, oh, physical, be. and the emotional I hope so. all. And so when you talk about that spiritual connection, mm -hmm. that is really, really important. Um, I just wanted to raise that because I think a lot of people may not think about uh, uh, when they engage in some kind of sexual activity with another person that it's all of that, but it is. Yeah. And, you know, when you talk about connections, you know, even past the physical, you know, in order to have a relationship that lasts for the for the long haul, mm -hmm. you know, you have to be connected in so many different ways. I mean, there are times that um, I can look at Fred or Fred can look at me and I'll go, hey, what's going on? You know, something's just not right. Or he'll look at you and say, you look really, really tired. Or, um, you know, I'll say, hey, you know, you know, what's going on? You know, you're not yourself. You know, that's the kind of connection that makes a marriage work for the long haul well because you do become very aware without there having to be any words yeah. exchange mm -hmm. uh there doesn't even have to be any activity mm -hmm. where you know you are so in sync that you can discern right. okay boy you're really happy or boy something's really challenging or mm -hmm. something's bothering you you know or you know there's it's kind of like the force and you can tell when there's a disruption in the force. Because um, there are times when I've come in the house and, and I can say, mm, <laughs> the force is strong in this one. Yeah. <laughs> or oh, I'm feeling a presence I haven't felt since. <sighs> and that's when he runs out the door. Absolutely. Because <laughs> that's what wisdom dictates. <laughs> if you're not prepared to deal with Darth Vader, don't. <laughs> and see, connection. <laughs> There you have it. <laughs> so, uh, definitely, there needs to be a connection. Yeah. And um, um, 
that's something that gets strengthened and I would say uh, enhances as your relationship mm -hmm. continues to grow as time goes on. Mm -hmm. So, but there should be an initial connection and then you begin to nurture yeah. and allow it to evolve to be the very best. Even on those days where you see she's about to pull out her lightsaber. <laughs> Until tomorrow, if the Lord says the same. Have a good evening.